Hey, good morning, McFly subscribers. So, it's a really beautiful morning this morning. So, I decided I was gonna go camping. Yeah. So I'm going up to a little lake kind of medium-sized lake up uh, called Visito Lake up in Colorado southern Colorado actually this time it's gonna be a little different I'm actually gonna be car camping so you know there's a campground here and you can pay and it's kind of gonna be luxury compared to what I'm used to there's a uh, restroom there so it should be fun um, I plan on uh, doing some fishing. There's pike in the lake there at Visito Lake. So I brought a six weight and an eight weight. There's pike, there's trout, there's bass, salmon, whatnot. But where I'm gonna, I don't have a boat. So I think the pike, this time of year, the pike are in a little bit. So I should be able to reach some pike, hopefully. Possibly some trout and bass. Um, but I'm bringing mostly streamers. I am bringing some other stuff. But I got a six weight and an eight weight. I also brought a five weight. Got everything I, I think I would ever need. So, uh, should be fun. Stay tuned, guys, and uh, get ready for a absolutely beautiful, beautiful lake. It, I've, I've been there before, just not camped over there, and it is just stunningly beautiful. Uh, Alright, well, so it turns out that when I registered, I had asked to be at one of the campgrounds. Turned out they sent me to the wrong one. Um, so I am not really on the lake. I'm, I mean, it's driving distance to the lake, but <laughs> it's not like I'm gonna be able to just uh, walk out of my tent and go fish. So no big deal, but not what I had expected, so. Well guys, I'm here. So this is the campground, it's kind of nice, I've got a little picnic table, place to make a fire, and car right there, in fact there's bathrooms way back there, not way back there, that's real close, that's nice. Um, this is like luxury living, man. So I'm going to set up, uh, just waiting, I think this is a spot. Um, the lady told me to just park, get everything ready, and then um, come back and check in after I'm done. Ready to go fish soon. It's already 9, so it's not that late, but by the time I'm set up and everything, then probably won't get to start fishing until like 12, but at least I'll get a little bit in today, and then tomorrow will be the big fishing day. So. All right guys, well I got the tent set up, but man, that took 20 minutes. Uh, a, lot, a lot slower when it's just one person. Um, it's a two person tent, they say five minutes. Um, maybe eight minutes when I was with Carter. We were taking breaks here and there, so um, this time it took a little longer. It's not too bad though. Um, and uh, I forgot my tripod for this camera. So, we might be doing a lot of fishing, but you might not get anything but GoPro. We'll see. Maybe I can set it up on the shore and you can see. I don't know. It's a little frustrating. Kind of depressed about it. I used the tripod last night to do filming um, for one of my videos and I thought I put it back in the car. Sorry. Scratching my back like a bear here. Um, Thought I'd put it back in the car, and it's not in the car. Oh well. So, 
I'm gonna finish setting up, get my bed roll out and all that, and I'm gonna go fish. Every time I open up this tent, I realize just how nice it is. It's very light, but also very water and windproof. And the zippers don't stick, they're really easy to open and close. Also, I got this sleeping bag at Big Five for only 29 bucks. It's a zero degree bag and rolls up quite small and compact. I always like having a light with me at night in case I need to get up and use the restroom. And this light works with a rechargeable 18650 battery and it's really bright. Also, I was told to put my food inside the car because bears come through regularly. So guys, I'm uh, getting my bag ready. I'm gonna put my bag in the, in the tent over here. But I'm not leaving food. You know, so I'm gonna stick this in the car and put that, all the, you know, there's nothing that they're gonna get back in the tent, so. All right guys, so I am done getting everything set up. It's about 1040 right now, and I'm heading into town. There's a little place that the campground host suggested for me to go talk to. Um, he said he doesn't do a lot of fishing around here, done a few times but they would know where to go uh, on the lake he does more the the creeks and rivers um, and there are a bunch up here so if the lake is just not doing anything not productive I can go uh, he said uh, there's some you know really nice creeks uh, right up north of the campground that I can catch some browns and other trout so that's cool um, so if it you know I've got a five weight with me just for those reasons. I've also got my six weight. I can do streamers and whatnot, so. Alrighty, so I stopped by, it's like a little market that also sells uh, um, fishing licenses and whatnot. And I asked the girl at work there, she said she doesn't do a lot of fishing around here, doesn't know much, but she did say that she hears that right off the dam. So you can actually walk out onto the dam and uh, fish. So guys, I have steel leader with me, but I think I'm going to start. There are bass here too, and I don't want a chance not getting a bass. Um, so I'm going to start without it, but if I notice that I'm setting the hook and nothing there and it just snaps me right off, um, I know there's pike, and I'll switch right over. Oh, you all right? Yeah. Not good with walking though, <laughs> When I walked out onto the dam, I met two guys that were currently fishing. They were really nice, and told me that the pike had already finished their spawn and went really deep. But it is possible to get a few smallmouth at this spot, so I tried a larger streamer still. It really is a beautiful lake. It was quite windy, but I was able to get the streamer out far enough. However, I just wasn't catching any fish, and I didn't even see a single one. Alright, so we got a bit of a storm coming in, which is weird. I didn't call for it today, but heard some thunder. Got some, uh, dark clouds. Hopefully it doesn't dump on me tonight while I'm camping. Well, time for a snack. I'm kinda hungry, it's 1.30. It's raining, guys. So, hopefully it kinda dies down. I'm gonna head back to the campground and, you know, Hang out until it stops raining and get everything buttoned down over there. It's not raining anymore while I'm here and I talked to the guy and he said, you know, it almost uh, in the spring, two o'clock on the dot, starts spitting and then it'll rain for 15 minutes and nothing. So 
I'm gonna take a walk and go find that little creek he told me about. There, he said it's a bit of a hike, and you get up and there's some pools. And he says he doesn't think you need waders, so you can just right from the the bank. So that'll be cool. I'll try that. There's some browns in there, he said. So. I had been hiking for about a half hour and saw a few people coming back down the trail. All right, so I just talked to someone and they said it's about a hour more hike. Guy told me it shouldn't be more than two hours. It shouldn't even be two hours. He said about a half hour. But they were telling me where they saw the pools was a good hour more. <laughs> it's already three. Been hiking for about half hour to 40 minutes, so it's pushing two hours. I'm kind of tired already. Part of this hike is a narrow walkway with a few hundred foot drop down a cliff. It was beautiful, but a little unnerving for someone who's afraid of heights. Guys, I'm, I hate to say this, but I'm hearing thunder. I saw a lightning strike at the top of the mountain. I don't think I want to be this far away from camp right now in this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head back down. I'm going to forgo fishing for today. And tomorrow morning, super early, I'm going to wake up right at dawn. I'm going to start making the hike up this way, right after breakfast, of course. And then catch some fish. I think I'm done with the lake. I want to come and do this. I'm feeling rain, heavy, heavy clouds back there, and lightning and thunder. Top of the mountain with a, uh, a graphite pole, <laughs> not my idea of safety. So I'd like to continue going, but I've got a wife and kids, you know? Don't want to be uh, that guy they find the body of at the top of the mountain. As I was walking back down, I came up on the narrow walkway with that cliff on the side, and I see a weird creature up ahead. Shoot. That was the biggest rodent I've ever seen. It was the size of a freaking dog, or at least a large cat, small dog. Dang, it's like one of those capybaras or whatever that you find in uh, like wherever. I don't even know where you find those, but I've seen them at the zoo. Giant, giant rodent. Didn't have a tail like a beaver, so I don't know. Turns out it was a marmot, which are semi-common in this area. When I got back down to camp, I found this small pool under a bridge that seemed promising. However, I fished it for a few minutes and didn't see a single fish. All right, well, I'm back. And uh, it is, the wind is blowing and it's a little chilly. In fact, I sweated a lot the whole way up and my back is soaked and uh, a little chilly. I might have to grab a jacket soon, but I think I'm going to try to get the, the fire going, so hopefully I can cook something for tonight. That would be good, and then just relax, brought some beer, have a beer, and enjoy the night. And then tomorrow morning, we're going back up that mountain, and we're going to get ourselves some... Uh, I'm going to get, sorry, I keep on talking plural here because you guys are along with me, but I'm going to get a, uh, a trout tomorrow. Hopefully it'll let me stay at the campground long enough. In fact, I might jump in the car and go check with them how late I can stay tomorrow before I start hike, hiking up that mountain. Maybe I'll pack up and then hike up. I don't know if you could hear that, but there goes the thunder again. Just been going every few minutes. 
there really weren't a whole lot of small twigs around, so I had to split some branches to make smaller kindling. Luckily, there are a lot of pine needles though, which are awesome fire starters. And of course, it started raining right when I got the fire started. However, I continued tried to build the fire to get enough heat generated that the rain couldn't put it out. So, it's starting to rain. It's tough to get it started with the rain, but it's kind of started now. I'm going to keep on working on it. Then it started dumping hail on me, so I decided to duck into the car. First hail, now pretty heavy rain. Right when I got on the phone, it stopped. Oh, there we go. And the fire is pretty much put out. Kind of ducked in the car for a minute. Oh well. Really windy out there. You know, it's camping. It's not not luxury, but this is much nicer than uh, where I've uh, camped before. So it's a very nice campground. Kind of nice to be able to duck in the car. So, after the rain stopped, I was able to get the fire going again. So I started boiling water for a mountain house meal. Alright guys, so I've got some tea brewing. And I got my meal. I think I put a little too much water in it though, but um, it is what it is. Well guys, it is definitely soupier than I had hoped. It's a stew, not a soup, but it'll still taste good. Something about watching a fire is relaxing and almost puts me to sleep. Hey, thanks for watching everyone. Next week, I will be putting up the following day's events and the full hike up to the mountain. As it turns out, it's a full 14 miles to the end of the walkway, but I think I did about 11 that following day. It is absolutely beautiful up there, so you will want to come back and watch next week's video. Thursday at 10 o'clock, Mountain Time. As always, a list of all the items I used today are in the description section. Please comment on the video and let me know your thoughts. Until next time, you guys go out and catch some fish.